The ocean is a vast, treacherous, and mysterious place, with various competing threats existing out there. But believe it or not, the most dangerous threat out in the ocean is that of human. With the advancement in technology, novel modern threats have become increasingly sophisticated and organized, and combating them requires innovative tactics and equipment. Dealing with these threats requires a degree of stealth, one only a few boats in the world can boast of, and that raises the question, which boat is best suited for the job? And is it in the possession of the United States military? Join us as we explore the stealthiest boat that the military does not own. For years, entrepreneur and innovator Gregory Sankoff sent pictures of the model of a boat he had been working on to the Office of Naval Design, but he got laughed at and they thought he was crazy. Not one to be put down by words, Sankoff continued his work, and six months later, following intense work done in his hangar, the authorities finally showed interest, but this was not in the usual way. He got a call from his attorney who notified him of the mail and claimed he had never seen anything like it despite practicing for 35 years. So, what exactly was in the mail? It was a letter from the United States Patent and Trademark Office, with a recommendation from the Office of Naval Research. It was a secrecy order forbidding Sankoff from filing his patterns internationally, nor talking about his designs publicly, not even to potential customer. This order was lifted in the year 2028. So, Sankoff waited patiently until the ghost, the attack helicopter of the seas, could be unveiled. There's just something about the name, ghost, that sends shivers down one spine. Remember James St. Patrick of the Power Series? It has something in common with this ghost. Following the suicide bombing by Al-Qaeda against USS Cole, a guided missile destroyer of the United States Navy on October 12, 2002. Creative inventor Gregory Sankoff, who was into medical technology at this point, was beyond shock and could recall remarking that some Yahoo terrorists in a cheap little boat and dollar 500 worth of explosives could kill 17 sailors on a billion dollar ship. He then decided to gather information on marine technology and focus on small watercraft, believing that bigger vessel ships such as LCS or literal combat ships are not optimal for close shore encounters and are a liability in these circumstances. In 2007, Sankoff founded the Juliet Marine System in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, came up with a small high-velocity watercraft known as the Ghost to operate in close shore encounters counters. Not waiting for a government contract, Sankoff took his motivation from the Millennium Challenge exercise and created the Ghost to counter these problems. A full-scale prototype of the Ghost was created in 2007. Living up to its name, the Ghost was named this because of its stealth abilities. It was designed for combat in high-risk areas. The vessel is said to have a very small radar signature, owing to its incorporation of advanced technologies and physical form. Just like its namesake ghost, James St. Patrick, who always snuck up on his enemies undetected. According to the Juliet Marine System, the ghost can be used for a variety of missions including force protection, special ops, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance roles. The current ghost vessel costs about $10 million per boat, is crewed by three to five sailors, and has an endurance of three days there is room for 16 crew members. The Ghost Hall is 18.9 meters long and has an angle-faceted design that has more in common with stealth-capable aircraft than waterborne vessels. In fact, as Sankoff once expressed, his goal was to create the attack helicopter of the sea. It has a range of 563 to 805 kilometers, which is 350, 500 miles. Its design also makes use of minimal windows to further reduce the radar signature. This allows it to cut through waves smoothly. However, the most unique feature of the Ghost is its dual-strut supercavitating pontoon, provided by two 2,000-horsepowered engines. Control at high speed is achieved by using a series of gyro stabilization and over 20 underwater control surfaces to maximize the craft's agility. This is all computer controlled, and this enables microsecond calculations and corrections to be made without the need for human input. This 38-foot marble defies convention. When traveling at less than 8 knots, the ship sits in the water up to its center line. 
with its 3.7-meter strut submerged parallel to the water surface. As the craft accelerates above 8 knots, the hull can be lifted out of the water by bringing the two struts closer together, offering a smoother ride by eliminating wave impact. This, along with its supercavitation technology, enables the Ghost to skim over the water surface. Its hull is built from non-magnetic aluminum and stainless steel, making her lightweight and corrosion resistant. The Ghost's secret weapon lies in the amazing groundbreaking phenomenon known as supercavitation. Picture yourself on a wonderful sunny afternoon, cruising on a calm lake and suddenly you surround yourself in an invisible bubble. By using counter-rotating propeller units that pull and stabilize the front sections of the engine nacelles on the leading edges of the nacelle, this setup helps the Ghost take advantage of supercavitation. It uses the propeller to form a tunnel or a fast-moving bubbles behind the propellers and around the Ghost's nacelle. Ghost could be described as traveling through a low-pressure tunnel of foam rather than denser water, making it very fast indeed. The process is accelerated by funneling air down the struts to ultimately form a bubble of air inside the water large enough to enshroud the craft's nacelle unit. This bubble can be actively managed without the need for specialist equipment like pump. It's similar to breaking the sound barrier, but only this time. It's on water, not on air. In an interview, Sankoff stated they were reducing hull friction, and it hasn't changed much since the Viking. It's just like breaking the sound barrier. The Ghost has managed to quack up speeds of over 55.5 kilometers per hour, which is over 30 knots. However, Juliet Marine Systems is confident that the vessel should be able to top out over 92.6 kilometers per hour, which is 50 knot, perhaps even 129.6 kilometers per hour, invested $15 million into this project, which has generated interest from top government. In 2014, Sankoff announced that he was aware of the Department of Defense's wariness of working with startup companies on such groundbreaking technology. This is because of the Navy policy of buying only technologies of announced interest. Sankoff to the United States Navy and the Pentagon, initial interest in Ghost waned. In 2009, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, expressed interest in funding Ghost, but this was rejected by Sankoff due to his desire to retain patent right. Believing that Ghost could have many more uses outside of the military market, scoffed at the idea of selling his intellectual property. The contract was turned down with the belief that the United States Navy would go for it, and if not, he could sell to a friendly nation such as South Korea, Japan, or the United Kingdom. Juliet Marines filed more than a dozen patents for this revolutionary technology, attracting attention from the United States. This was followed up by the secrecy order, which slowed down business for Juliet Marine Systems. The development of Ghost did not come without problems, defying conventional Navy architecture architecture by employing supercavitation technology, which previously had been difficult to steer. Sankoff sought potential international buyers for the Ghost, but the stringent export regulations imposed by the State Department on defense-related systems, thus effectively stopping Juliet Marine Systems from discussing the technology with foreign countries. Diplomatic hurdles continued to trouble Juliet Marine Systems. In September 2014, the United States State Department permitted foreign military sales discussions with South Korea about Ghost. However, despite the stringent rules in place by the State Department regarding defense-related systems, nothing important came out of the negotiation. Ghost was offered to several nations including Bahrain, Qatar, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Taiwan, South Korea, and Singapore. It was also reported that high-level discussions were allegedly held with a nation interested in 25 vessels like Ghost in a potential $300 million sale. On July 17, 2015, Juliet Marine Systems brought an action under 35 U.S.C. and 183 
seeking compensation for damages caused by the United States government's imposition of secrecy orders. On Monday, May 7, 2018, both parties met with a federal judge mediator, and as a result of this mediation, the Justice Department and the United States Navy agreed that the judgment in this action be entered in the favor of Juliet Marine Systems and against the United States government. A settlement for an undisclosed amount was awarded to the Juliet Marine System. Many government officials in the United States were impressed by Ghost. Former New Hampshire Senator John Sununu joined Juliet's board, as did several retired naval officers, including four-star Admiral James Hall. Rear Admiral Thomas Richards, who once oversaw all of the country's Navy SEALs, and Rear Admiral Jay Cohen, who served as the Pentagon's Chief of Naval Research and as Undersecretary for Science and Technology at the Department of Homeland Security. Sankoff says Navy officials also showed interest but declined to work with him. One impediment to the United States Navy procurement of Ghost is a preference of senior leaders for large-hulled ocean-going vessels that can perform inshore operations instead of smaller craft specialized for inshore missions. Estimated at around $46 billion in the next decade, Ghost technology is also highly adaptable, as it could be adapted for torpedoes, sea drones, and even commercial use, such as high-speed transport to oil platforms. It might be a matter of time before the United States Department of Defense eventually sees the value in ghost capabilities, as Juliet Marine's ultimate vision is to supply the United States Navy. Juliet Marine Systems remains an essential source of innovation for the Marine sector. Thank you for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our videos, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.